Built in 1067. <laughs> With more knockdowns than Mike Tyson, this castle keeps getting back up. Ah. Eventually, thank God, the peasanty people worked out. Wood bad, stone good, still standing. It's bursting with artifacts that make Indiana Jones look like QVC. <laughs> He's got shiny knives, ancient rare vases. We've got swords, and that's just the tip. Moving on to Willen Hall, also known as Bruce Wayne's Bat Pad, was once home to blockbuster Dark Knight Rises. But we don't need a freak in a bat suit to dazzle you. It's got stuff! 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 Stuff animals! Think that's creepy? Then get yourself to Galleries of Justice. With over 500 years of criminal history, torture and debauchery, it's a guaranteed ticket to Spooksville or call me guilty! <laughs> With hours of history and dark adventure, <laughs> it's a great place to hang out! Can you dig it? These caves are the place for you. We got more caves here than a Batman convention. We're cavey crazy. With over 570 caves, you'll be lucky to see daylight if you visited Nottingham. <laughs> now, after all that, you'll probably want to quench your thirst at England's oldest pub, ye old trip to Jerusalem. Now, he may look 500 years old, but trust me, the beer's not. Now, I hope you've enjoyed our little tour, but now it's time for serious talkie poos. Cheers! The city may have been built by old bricks. Bricks so old to make America look like a newborn baby. But bricks don't make a city. People do. That's right. Real people like this lady and her lovely baby. There you go. I'm talking about people that give you a cup of tea. People that offer you service when you come to our country and to our city. They'll show you love. That's right, because we love you. Love you like their own. These people are real people, not vending machine people. We're vending machine lives. Because tourism is a war out there. And we're prepared to go to battle. That's right, we'll fight for your euro, your yen, your dollar, because our weapon is a duck, and we're not afraid to call you ducky, not because you're a farm animal, because it's a term of endearment. Then we'll shout it loud, and we'll shout it to the sky. Hey, 